Love is a global or universal language. In order to communicate through the heart, everyone understands this language and wants to be loved and appreciated. There is no barrier with it, irrespective of race, color, nationality, nor continent. What then is love? Love can be defined as a strong feeling of deep affection for someone, emanating from the heart, with a firm decision to love that person. This is a good thing. However, such love is temporary. It cannot last forever and it can fail. True love essentially means that you have an unwavering, unbreakable and unparalleled fondness and devotion for your partner. It is also an emotional as well as physical connection with him or her that runs immeasurably deep and life without your significant other will be practically unthinkable. God's love transcends beyond this. It is spiritual. When you think of it, God's love is so potent because it refers to a love rooted in a spiritual connection that helps us find meaning and purpose in our lives. This love can serve different purposes. Some are meant to walk with us through life, while others are meant to teach us lessons along the way. There are four major types of love. We have the erotic love, which is the passionate love. The filial love, which is love of friends and equals. And we have the such love, which is the love of parents for their children. And then we have agape love. This is divine love, God's kind of love for mankind. This various love can be applied in five major ways, namely by the word, by acts of service, by gifts, by quality time, and by physical touch. The scripture teaches us that love is the central thing and that God is the true source of love. His very character is love. This understanding offers us the value of love based on the nature and actions of God. The love of God is revealed in the sacrifice of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, as stated in John 3, 16. John 3, 16. And it says, God so loved the world, that is you and I, that he gave his only begotten son, and that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Out of love, God gave his only son as the ultimate ransom for the salvation of humanity. From the beginning of creation, we would observe God's love in action. His love for mankind is so great and deep that he created this world and its beauties for him. He made everything conducive for him to dwell in. The extent of God's love cannot be quantified. No wonder the scripture says in 1 John chapter 3 verse 1, 1 John chapter 3 verse 1 says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed unto us, that we should be called the children of God. Therefore the world does not know us, because he did not know him. The psalmist too also wondered by saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? and the Son of Man that thou visited him. In Psalm 8 verse 4, Psalm 8 verse 4, he couldn't fathom the love of God for us. It is so clear that even now, God's mind is on us and is also mindful of us. He loves you so much that he said, Behold, I have engraven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. His love for us is so powerful, so great, that he extends to every strand of hair on our head, such that he knows the very number, and when one drops while you are combing it, he is aware of it. In Matthew 10 verse 30, 
Matthew 10 verse 30 says, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. You are valued more than anything you can imagine. The Bible also records of his love over us as a covering. In Songs of Solomon chapter 2 verse 4, Songs of Solomon 2 verse 4 says, He brought me to the banqueting house and his banner over me was love. While people use dovet to cover themselves, our God covers us with his unfailing and unwavering love. He does not sleep nor slumber. While you and I sleep, he does not allow any harm to come near us. God's love is an overwhelming and overflowing one. It is because of this overflowing and overwhelming love that have prevented or preserved the world till date. It is of his great love and mercy that we have not been consumed. When you consider the reason why he overthrew the world prior to now by flood, you will realize and appreciate that it is of his overflowing love that have prevented him from doing the same to this present world. Why then is your knowledge of God's love for you vital? Well, God is love. In 1 John chapter 4 verse 8, 1 John chapter 4 verse 8 says, He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Your knowledge of God's love will avail you the fact that you too must love others as well. When you see fellow humans misbehaving and having no love for others, it's due to the fact that they don't know God. The scripture question, how can you say you love God when you fail to love the person you are seeing and claim to love God that you cannot see? The love of God will give you the opportunity to reciprocate this great love. Scripture says, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are his friend if you do what he says. Beloved, I just want you to know that God loves you specially. In spite of your failures, your frailties, shortcomings, he wouldn't love you less. You must know this love to be able to enjoy a fruitful work with him. Your knowledge of this love will enable you to work effectively with God. You must learn to believe his love for you, which supersedes and surpasses every comprehension, so you can really experience the joy in his love. And I pray that as you discover his love for your life, May you continue to walk in it and enjoy it. In Jesus' matchless name, amen.